Hello, everyone. Um, I'm so excited to welcome you back um, to the Winning Live broadcast. This is a phenomenal section, and um, every Saturday morning I come online, you know, to share with you principles, values, and skills that will help you become a better person, achieve achieve success in life, and of course, you know, um, do things excellently. All right. It was unfortunate that yesterday um, this live broadcast couldn't hold, but today it has really, it really has to hold. This episode must not be missed. And that is why I am actually, you know, coming live this afternoon. According to my time um, here, it is 11 minutes um, after the hour, three o'clock West African time. I am so um, excited, you know, to have you uh, join me back here. <laughs> Today I'm going to be talking about, you know, the art of self-influencing, the art of what self-influencing. But by way of recap, last week, Saturday, which was the day we hosted uh, the Leadership Rebirth Conference 6.0. Oh, my God. I'm going to bring you, you know, I'm going to bring you words. I'm going to bring you some updates. I'm going to bring you some things, you know, that happened at that event, maybe within the week before Saturday. I'm going to do another live video to share with you um, things that I learned, even as a host of the Leadership Event Conference. All oh, amazing. You know, it was really, really, really amazing time learning from um, great people. Just a minute, please. It was really, really an amazing time learning from great people, learning from even the participants, you know. They had to join, they had to, you know, get, uh, they, they, had, they were divided into teams. And, you know, I saw young people who we are, you know, building strategic alliances. And I saw young people who came to also network to have, uh, to build their social, you know, capital. And it was great. Uh, we had um, a lot of young a lot of young leaders, a lot of them. Um, I, I don't know the actual figure, but I know we, we got you know, over 400, close to 500, all right, in the hall, until, until I verify how many people from our accreditation unit, all right. But we had a lot of people also join us from different parts of the world, you know, linking online uh, on, on, on our different Facebook and social media pages. You, you, need, you need to see what was really happening that day. We had a lot of people link, you know, from UK, from Kenya, from Germany, um, from US, you know, different parts of the world. And the testimonies that have come out of that event, they are still mind blowing. And I, I, I am I'm so much aware that it's just the starting because the impact of that meeting is going to last for 30 years, for 50 years, for 100 years. And it's going to be multiplied into the lives of other people. So there's going to be a multiplicity effect of that meeting. Um, per adventure, you were not able to attend, whether physically or, or virtually. I want to invite you to you know, go and watch the, the live broadcast because it was like it was broadcast on, on, on my page, this page where you're watching this video at this time. Just scroll back to one, one week ago, you're going to see. You can also see it on the Impact for Global Youth Initiative Facebook page and very soon on the YouTube, uh, on my YouTube wall and then on, on the Impact for YouTube you know, channel. So please make sure you watch it. So this is a Sunday afternoon and um, I'm teaching on the art of self-influencing. Uh, there are a few points I wanted to take note of. Number one is that it takes a lot of energy and effort to influence people externally if you're not influencing from within. If you're not influencing from who you are, if you're trying to get people influenced from you know, the external and not necessarily who you are, it takes a lot of energy. It takes a lot of effort. And at the end, you're just going to be wearing yourself out. You'll be wearing yourself out because you're not leaving it. You are not what leaving it. You're not influencing yourself. So the influence you're trying to put out is a fake influence. 
And you cannot achieve success by trying to put out, because you will try to figure out everything. And trying to figure out everything will worry you. It will just take, it will, just, it will keep sapping strength from you. It will keep taking away things from you. And you don't want to do that. If you're a leader, you just don't want to do that. If you're a leader, you want to lead people from your authenticity, not your, 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 um, your, the, the, what do I call it? A, a made up, your, a made up, a put up kind of you. If you're a leader, you want to, you want to, you want to, you know, lead people from your authentic self, not your synthetic self. All right. It's very critical that you start influencing yourself. You start influencing yourself. Number two thing I want to share with you is that you don't fake influence. All right? You leave it. And um, anything that, that is faked is uh, usually, you know, phases away accidentally. Anything that is faked, that is faked, is it phases away accidentally. And that is actually to say that people who live fake life will, will, will continue to live their fake until very soon. Anything that is fake has an original. And when people discover the original, they will go through any lens to you know, get the original. So if there is an original kind of you, then there's no need putting up the fake. You just need to improve on the, on the original and make it more attractive. You just need to package the original. You just need to ensure that the content of the original is powerful, that the content is awesome, that it's not just packaged in a way that it attracts people only to disappoint them. I hope I'm making sense. All right, so number three point, I want to share with you is that the influence you you have within you is what you will naturally give. The influence you have within you is what you will naturally. I I I I, I didn't say you will plan to give. I, I mean you will naturally give it because. Who you, who you are actually, it's made manifest when you don't know, when you don't, if you're not so much aware of what you're doing. It's people around you that are looking up to you and saying, oh, this is the, that's where your real character is not a planned speech or a planned presentation. Your real character is the you that emanates when you, when you are just to you. And the influence what people see around you, the influence you have on people is so much dependent, you know, on what you, how you have influenced yourself. It's so much dependent on what you have done to yourself. Because for people to look at you and want to be like you, you have to also look at yourself and want to be like yourself too. So I'm going to come to that, all right? So I will have to, you know... Um, explain a few things about you influencing yourself. If you really want to influence yourself, I will just you know, make, make, point out a few things before I end um, this broadcast. Number one is that you have to enjoy today first. If you want to in, in, influence yourself, you have to enjoy today. You are in today, you're not yet in tomorrow. A lot of people, you know, because of their projection into tomorrow, they, 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 they don't enjoy where they are. A, a woman, um, Joyce Mayer, wrote a book, and she titled it Enjoying Where You Are on the Way to Where You're Going To. A lot of people, because they want to achieve great things tomorrow, because they want to achieve beautiful things, they don't want to enjoy their today. They don't want to do those little, little things that will make them happy. I, I don't mean happy in the negative way. It's what, I mean, you know, having the best of today. And not because you are expecting a big tomorrow. You're worrying yourself. You're 
you are doing a lot of things, you know, to Um, I think something is slowing in my video. So, trying to see if I can get rid of that. Okay. So a lot of people are just, you know, worrying themselves and wearing themselves out, which does not make any sense. It does really not. It, it really does not make any sense that you want a bright tomorrow and you're not enjoying today because of tomorrow. Some motivational speakers or some people would want to tell you what are you enjoying? It's not your time to enjoy. What are you trying? Oh, you have to work, work. Hey, at the time where you are, at this point, today, I am not saying you should not work. I said you should enjoy even if it is work that you're doing, please enjoy the work. Even if you said, I am working hard, I want to achieve a bright future and it is not negotiable, which it is not. Your bright future, your future should not be negotiable. But even if that is what you are doing, please enjoy it while you're doing it. Enjoy that thing you are doing. Don't allow people to put you under pressure. Don't allow people to make you feel bad about yourself. Don't allow people to, you know, because of, you know, the things that, ah, no, 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 no. You know, you have to show people that I love myself. Guy, you need to love yourself. But you need to be able to influence yourself, love yourself, show yourself care, give yourself the best. You know, you deserve it. You really, really deserve it. And and I tell you, you deserve the best. The best you can afford at this time, you deserve it. So give it to yourself. All right? Give it to yourself. Something started happening. You know. I, 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 I said to myself, I can actually, you know, save money to be able to fund people's dreams. I can save money to give to people. I can even borrow money to give to others just to help what they are doing. But solo, what are you doing to yourself? What are you doing for yourself? What are you doing for yourself? Sometimes, uh, um, uh, some moments, some time ago, I, I would usually say, this thing is too costly. Is it not one thing I will now wear it and then, ah, no, no, no. If I can afford it, I will get it. If I can afford it, whether I can pay for it instantly or instrumentally, but I know I can afford it, I will get it for myself. All right. If I do it for another person, I will do it for myself. Except it's on, on divine instruction. Except it's God that said you must do this, even though you won't, you can't do it for yourself at this time. Do it for this person. That's because I've chosen, you know, to enjoy myself. I have only today to live. And you also have only today today. That's even if you're going to complete the day. Yes, in, in as much as we, we, we have faith, yes, but yesterday is gone. Today may never, tomorrow may never be yours. So you have to ask God to always help you to do each day what you have to do. And part of what you have to do is to enjoy yourself. Do something for yourself that will make you happy. Give yourself that treat, you know. Buy that stuff for yourself. Go to that recreation center. Travel. Enjoy yourself, you know. So number two that I want to share with us is for you to influence yourself positively, you must have to wake up grateful. Yeah, some people died while you were sleeping. So people, um, you know, did not make it. Some wanted to make it, but they did not. So you've got to give yourself, you know, give yourself to the attitude of gratitude. You know, yesterday I, I spoke at a prayer meeting in Winabapa, right here in Elogo, and 
I shared with the youth of the church who I was ministering to, I shared with them, I told them, hey, listen, you have to be grateful. I told them, if you're not grateful, then you are not appreciative of what you have. Already, there are people who are looking up to you. There are people who are learning from you. You have to be grateful for the fact that the people saw you worthy to, to emulate, worthy to learn from. You may not have everything figured out, but to influence yourself so that you will be able to influence others to be grateful, you must show that gratitude. You must be grateful. And there is even a different, something different from being grateful and appreciative. I learned that from for you see the MC, the general manager of um, Solid 100.9 FM. And he said, some people are so grateful, but they are not appreciated. Gratitude can be in the heart, but appreciation is fear, boy. It's visible. You can see it. You can feel it. You, you, you can hear it. So to drive home your gratitude, you have to show appreciation. You have to make So, I hope you're getting the gist. Be grateful to yourself. You are, you are, <laughs> God, my goodness. You are doing a lot. You are achieving a lot. You're blessing people's lives. Why not be grateful for yourself, to yourself because of the great things that you are doing? Don't allow people to make you feel like you're not doing anything. You are, and I mean it, you are doing mighty, you are doing great and amazing things. <clears throat> so you have to be grateful. You have to be grateful. So number, oh wow. So the next thing I want to share with you is that you have to talk to yourself. People spread their influence by talking to people, most of one of the ways, and if I one of the major ways to spread your influence is by being good at speaking, inspiring people, and talking to people, you know, giving people hope. They want to they feel you and they want to be like you, they want to, you know, do what you said to them. Apply same to your life. Speak to yourself, guy. Speak to yourself, talk to yourself, say beautiful things to yourself, honor yourself, do words of affirmation i am beautiful i am handsome i am i am i am amazing i am the best i am my best i achieve greatness say good things to yourself and please mean it don't don't flatter yourself say it to yourself as you say say it to yourself with a heart of gratitude i'm not saying you should not start saying the things you are not you you are Say the things you are, and of course, you never can, you don't even know the extent of what you know, or you, who you are. You just don't know all of them. How do you even know what to say to yourself? Read the scriptures, read the Bible, listen to good words, you know, because your energy grows where it is focused on. Anywhere you focus your energy, it's going to grow there. I hope I'm making sense. So it is critical. Number three is that you have to listen to yourself. People listen. To be influenced, people listen. People watch. So for, for you to you know, influence yourself, listen. When you're saying to yourself, I am amazing, I am beautiful, I am wonderfully made, I am awesome. God, ah, uh, my goodness. God made me in the best of, with the best of materials. God has put in awesome things into my life. When you're saying those words to yourself, do you listen? Some of you just say it for the sake for the sake of saying. Some of you just say it because you just want to say it. Anyway, I'm, I don't even believe it, but make me with the talk I'm now. Make me you know be you know, waiting there say make with the talk. Make me the talk. You have to listen to what you're saying to yourself. Those great things that you've said to yourself, listen to them and be sure that you believe them, believe them. And then your life is going to 
take um, a better shape. Because when she, once you start listening, believing, once you start talking to yourself, listening to yourself, and believing what you're saying, people around you, you don't need to signal them. Automatically, they are signaled because it's perceivable, it's touchable, it's in your life, you are seeing it. All right? So it is very, very, very well, critical. Number four, if you want to influence yourself very well and positively, you have to be observant. You have to observe yourself and observe the environment and be willing to adapt. It's a way of influencing positively. Observe yourself, observe the environment, and be willing to adapt. All right. Yeah, because um, what you know is too little. And um, not everything that you know is still valid. Some are already gone into extinction, so they are wrong. Some of the things you know, intention, to intentionally observe your cause, you know, be willing. Uh, that's number six, number six point of control. I um, I told them that there is a difference between self-control and discipline. Self-control is you not doing what you are not supposed to do, even when you feel like doing it. Not doing what you are not supposed to do, even when you feel like doing it. And discipline is you doing what you are supposed to do, even when you don't feel like doing it. There are times you will not feel like doing it. There are times you will not feel like doing it. There are times you are so weak. Like today, I wouldn't... I was so weak in the early hours of yesterday. I think the post I made about rescheduling the, the, the broadcast was around 3 a.m. Yeah, 3 a.m. And I said... I cannot do this this morning, owing to the fact that I have done a lot of things in the previous day that, that I got into this morning. So let me reschedule it. And yesterday I also had to do some other things. And I needed to come back, to come here to do this live video today. But, but I said, oh. as of you know, 2 p.m., I, was, I remember at 2 p.m., I need to do a live video on at 3 p.m. And I cannot, I, I feel so weak, I couldn't do it, you know? But I said, it's, it requires discipline at this time to show up and to do it. And I have shown up and I have done it. It's, it's something you need to do if you want to start influencing yourself. If not, procrastination will kill you. It will chop you and you know, get you down. But you need to start influencing. You need to start you know, being disciplined and having self-control. I want to sincerely say thank you to you for joining this broadcast. I want to say that um, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Please share with me. Uh, the lessons that you've learned from this video and how you're going to put them into practice and the things that you're going to do from now on henceforth. Also do well to share the video to people who you know this will be of benefit to. And definitely I'm so aware, I'm very sure that God will bless you. I'll be coming live on Saturday with uh, one of my friends who, um, who is a leadership strategist and he's doing amazingly well. And then um, we'll be talking about the leader and his brand. The leader and his brand. I'll be hosting Sir Victor. See you then and God bless you. Real good.